London, good evening to you wherever you're watching this live broadcast. My name is Kelvin Mwafo and I am the presiding bishop, Shekinah Glory Ministry. Uh, on the right flank of mine with Pastor Success John. Thank you for joining us, Vyas. Mm -hmm. And on my left, I have Pastor James Agada. Thank you, Vyas. The Lord bless you for your time. Thank you for joining us. I want you to stay tuned as we bring you the acts of the supernatural through God's choice servant, Prophet Rose Kevin, as such that we cannot see and then just take for uh, some of those happenings that just occur. You know, want to spot the finger of God traceable to such declarations that were made on the altar. The and first of it all, I want to bring to you is one of our wonderful sisters, Sister Wandu Chinwe from Ebony, Ebony State. Sister Wandu Chinwe, while she testified uh, yesterday at the third encounter of uh, uh, Mommy Prophesy, third encounter Lagos Invasion, she said some things that were not usual. You know, Sister Chiwe, uh, while she was talking, uh, told us that she encountered Mommy when she came for the second edition of Mommy Prophesy. It was a wonderful time, the one that held at uh, Lakey, you know. Uh, so, after that meeting, uh, she said she picked up Mommy's handbill, dropped the handbill carelessly in the house. But she noticed that there is something wrong with her business. For a very long time, she puts goods in the shop and would not sell. She buys goods, right? She buys goods, put in the shop, and no sales happening from anywhere. People come, buy the same goods eventually after prayers, you know, but they end up returning the same goods. And then she ended up refunding money. What a frustrative, uh, uh, you, you know, process that you, you, you travel all the way to buy goods, stock in the shop. And then these goods are meant for people to come and buy and then use. You know, I, I like us to, you know, look at this critically so that we can spot where the finger of God comes from. Now, the goods were bought, put in the shop, and not sold. You can imagine how frustrating, how disheartening, how discouraging the process could be that you have these goods be sold to people and they are not buying. Eventually, after a lot of efforts and efforts and efforts, somebody will come and buy only for you to come out the next day to open the shop and the and the, the person the same person that bought yesterday is on his way to return say oh no no i don't like what i've just bought and then you now see the affliction of the enemy sister chiwe realized that this is not ordinary now she went ahead picked up that same handbill she picked from uh mommy prophesied second encounter and then came with the handbill to the house soaked the handbill in the water without mommy giving her any prophetic instruction this is the leading of the spirit now when people go through challenges and they trust whom god has sent their way even without the instruction from those people god has sent their way things begin to happen you know she, she, this is this is what i call an ardent belief at this point she sprinkled the water that had the handbill inside in her shop nobody told her eventually boom boom pastor success i'd like you to tell us something about us the bible says something they said believe in the lord your god hmm. and you shall be established wow believe in his prophet hmm. and you shall prosper Hallelujah. your prosperity is tied to your prophet hmm. and this woman believed in the grace of one more hmm. And that's why she said something. She said when she came, though mommy did not prophesy to her, mm. but she took another level of faith. Wow! So mommy's be Wow! Carried it. Wow! Even though she had been crying over the weeks, mm. but just as you said, she received that inner instruction. Mm. Do this. She said when she did that, two more sins. Mm. The kind of money she had never touched before. Mm. She's into tire and mm. into parts, mm. machine parts. Say people as if a shop was the only shop existed. My God. Everybody running my to buy God. from her. And they were like, where did you go to? My God. We've never seen people gather this much in your my shop. My God. And that is mind-blowing. <laughs> she said 
she has never she, she has not seen this type of thing my god in fact she has not recovered from the shock hmm. this indeed is the act of god my god I, in fact god. i was i was you, you, you see why we are why this broadcast is ongoing yes somebody will carry mommy's and bill to put in water right now exactly you be, believe you me exactly. but one thing is certain it's not just about doing what you hear right now has the conviction through the belief mm, yes. the conviction through the belief of God's servant I, we know God has anointed mommy with exceptional anointing this is an exceptional anointing while we do this broadcast we must also spell out the fact that this is an exceptional anointing now whereas this exceptional anointing will work for you there has to be some beyond the content mm. of belief now this is belief at work mm. mommy was not there to give her any instruction lord i believe in mommy and god is not a baby god sees the heart oh she believes in my daughter <laughs> you, you know the finger of the supernatural now pastor james i'd like you to let us into what you understood or what you what you were able to decipher in this entire process how did she come about carrying an hand to soak in water how did she come about sprinkling it in the shop this is a shop that you know where tires where, where the shops a shop where you know she deals on tires and motorcycle parts revelation is key to insight mm. now um she just imagine her without a prophet Mm. Imagine the level of shame. Imagine how without, without a, a prophet. prophet. So imagine the level of my shame God. and embarrassment. It's been mm. a circle oh that you God. make sales today, mm. and then you are excited, mm. and the next moment you see the customer returning those things back to you. Very disheartening. And you can't just explain how these things happen. But the point mm. I wanted to uh, portray is this. Now, thank God that she has a prophet. She has a prophet. And now, when the prophet stepped into her case, everything changed. Now, I'm trying to ask no, myself. No, 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 no. You said when the prophet stepped in. Yes. The prophet stepped in when she believed. When she believed. Yes, of course. Of course. <laughs> it also means that prophecies are not complete until the actionable per se very true. of belief comes very in. True. Very true. Very, very, <laughs> very true. Now, now probably uh, mm. she is not the only one that has the hand view of God's handmaid. Mm. But the revelation she got mm. was what prompted her to taking that action. Mm. Now, there is no business law from anywhere that tells you that if you take someone's handbill and put it in your shop, you get sales. Mm. People do branding and then branding takes a lot of money to, do, to get customers. Absolutely. But this is a kind of spiritual branding she has done for herself. Thank God. Branding yes. on billboards, yes. branding on uh, newspapers, a lot of uh, money. Through, through several kind of adverts, yes. and yet there are no sales. There are no sales. Yes. And that's a lot of money. Now, this is branding through a handbill. Yes. That doesn't even have a business uh, advertorial on, on it. On it. That's my God, my God, talk to me. And now, spiritually, that brought customers for her. Hmm. And now, not just bring it, that same anointing was able to sustain the, the, business. Business, the business for her. My God. Now, she has changed level hmm. business wise. Why? Because from the point where she brought in the handbill. To where the handle was not there my god the difference is why now if you look at that woman sharing her testimony mm. the excitement the you excitement. Could feel the excitement my oh god. god thank god for mommy rose my thank god, god for the handle and that's what makes the difference wow. now you believe in your prophet and then you get the reward mm. she believed the whole of her heart mm. and then the sales everything opened up business exploded mm. for her I, I, I like us to uh, just quickly take a look at that testimony. Yeah. The Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 19, verse 20, it says, so mightily grew the wall and prevailed. Come on, let's go to that service right now where the Spirit of God was so powerful. Yes, I believe in miracles. Mommy, we have a testimony in the house. Uh -huh. In the second, Mommy prophesied. Mommy, she came to the service. Please, she will find yourself. She's here. Mommy, she came doing this. Mommy prophesied, second edition. Mommy, she said, though you did not locate her during the program, but as she was leaving, she saw your flyer on the ground. She picked the flyer. She said, though Mommy did not locate me, through this flyer, God's rose will locate me. 
motorcycle part tire. She said she has been experiencing one predominant evil. People buy things, return back. Jesus. Business is not working. In less than one hour or two hours, they come back and return it. And she kept, she give, keep giving them back the money. And the thing has persisted for long. But she carried that flyer that day, went to her shop, and carried the flyer, started touching all her goods. Started touching all her goods. Mommy, she said, after that encounter, people now come and buy in a large quantity, they don't return again. Hey! Thank you, Jesus. Mommy, I'm telling you so much that they came and kept poison in front of her shop and she matched the poison her legs started growing started growing big her body would just be itching her her skin would be peeling she carried that same flyer put God of prophetess rose she dipped it inside the water mommy carried the water and drank that affliction returned back to hell are you celebrating God at all she has returned to give glory to God such a powerful you know, testimony rendition. We, we, we could see the woman all over. I mean, she, 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 she if you gave her that microphone, wow. my God, she would keep, keep, keep us in that place. My God. And, 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 and it didn't just end there. Yeah. Now, she also confirmed, you know, that she became uh, 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 so successful and prosperous that enemies, you know, yeah. were angry with her. And they were, they were amazed, you know, until God has blessed you to a point where people begin to accuse you, then the blessing is not yet, uh, you know, mega. And they would have begun to accuse her. Okay, let's 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 try and see. And then eventually they dropped something for her. She stepped on and began to have swollen legs, became sick, you know. And uh, it was confirmed that this is elephantitis. When you present a case to a doctor, a doctor will call it a name. You know, the legs are just swollen and, you know, out of proportion. You know, she didn't have a rock to take. She didn't know what to do. She tried all she could, got more confused, only remembered in the process mm. that there was a handbill intervention. That's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> this is act of the supernatural through his choice prophet. Prophetess Rose Kelvin. Miracles are miracles because they could be reenacted. Now, on acts of the supernatural through the ministry of Prophetess Rose Kelvin, we'll be bringing you miracles that were reenacted, enacted, and reenacted. You will hear about manhood that was gone, completely gone, in Lagos' invasion of uh, Mommy Prophesy. You will hear about manhood restored. Sister Chinwe got restored, business got restored. How would it have been if not for the second reenactment of that same miracle? That's true, sir. You know, if, if she had business explosion and then no health. No oh my God. God does not stop halfway when he begins. Oh. Yes. Unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly mm. of all that we can ever ask or think according to the power that is at work in us get ready because anytime from now i say it again who would be waiting to receive your own testimony Hallelujah. this is the act of the supernatural through god's servant prophetess rose kelvin our mother in the lord my name is kelvin Wafford, the presiding bishop shekinah glory ministries we'll see you again god bless you Hallelujah.